All right. How you guys doing? So today's video is kind of like a little update video. So if you haven't seen the video that this is kind of updating um, a while back, uh, I was doing something to my computer like I always am. And I noticed that my water block was leaking. And then I, one thing led to another and I kind of made a video where I was like, hey, this looks like a design flaw to me. Something's wrong with this block. It shouldn't be like this. I hope that Corsair fixes it in the future. And then I kind of just never did anything else with it. EK reached out, they updated my water cooling system to all EK and that was it. And then um, I did notice a comment on that video where somebody's like, hey, if you reach out to Corsair, there is a fix for this and uh, they'll fix your block. And if it, anything got damaged, they'll fix that as well. So I was like, what's it gonna hurt? I bought the block. Um, I should have a water block that actually works. And if I wanna use it in the future on a different build, at least I'll have it. So I sent an email and then kind of just forgot about it. Uh, didn't really follow up, but one thing led to another. And eventually I did get the block RMA. I sent it out to California. And today we're gonna look at what I got in return. Now, something that's a little, <laughs> little strange to me is I sent the block that I had, the one that was broken or faulty or whatever. I got paperwork from, you know, Corsair to send that to California and off it went. And then a few days later, I got a DHL notification that a package had been shipped to my location from the Netherlands. Now, I don't think that my block went to California, then to the Netherlands, it got fixed and sent back to me. I mean, I guess it's possible, but in the time span that I noticed all these things happening, uh, it would be very unlikely. So. I'm not convinced that what's in this box is the block that I sent out, and I'm kind of interested to see what exactly the Old Netherlands sent me. Now, uh, who knows, but I hope it's fixed. Now, I haven't opened it. As you can see, DHL was quite kind with the uh, delivery of my package. I don't know if they drove it here or just drug it behind the truck, but either way, I hope it's not broken. I haven't opened it, so now I'm going to find my knife. Where is it? And we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at what it is. See if it leaks and hopefully problem solved and we can use it sometime in the future. Where's my knife? It'll be a bummer after all this. It ended up like broken shipping. Okay, so, so I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't look any different. It looks just like another one. I mean, unless there's something different inside, that looks like the same design to me. So it probably is gonna leak just the same. I guess we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. It's brand new. It's from the Netherlands. Let's see what's inside of it. Moment of truth. It looks like a new block. I, I failed to see the repaired block or an updated block. This is literally a brand new one. I guess we just have to hook it up to a pump and see uh, see what happens. Well, here we are. Got everything hooked up. I'm just, I, the radiator is obviously not not in the loop. We just have the block because that's all we really care about. And I'm gonna tell you, kind of disappointed already. When I saw that it was coming from the Netherlands, I was like, whoa, wait a minute. Maybe we're gonna see some top secret Corsair second gen GPU blocks. And then we opened it, and it's kind of just like meh. Same thing. Well, it looks like the same thing. Maybe it's not. It could be something completely different. Hey, who knows? Guess we'll find out soon enough. Okay, I guess we'll just fill it up first. Shouldn't have much air to bleed here. It's quite normal to me. Yeah. I mean, it's not hooked to anything, so there's no fear. So let's just, here you go. <laughs> oh 
my gosh. Yeah, that's disappointing. Well, I guess, you know what, I have, a, I have an EK block. Let's, let's do the same to that. It's not fair if we just take Corsair and be like, look, and it's so poopy. We have two blocks here. Let me pull on that one and see if a little bit of back pressure, like so, makes uh, your card leak. So, stand by. Okay, well, for science, let's find out if this is just like, maybe this is something that water blocks do. Um, I doubt it, but if I could not have my fans eat my fingers, that'd be great. See, these are Corsair fans. I, see, I'm, I'm a fan of Corsair. I, I think their fans are like some of the best RGB fans out there, but that, that is a bummer. Yeah, that's, that's good. I'm pushing on that way harder than I'm doing that one. I should better to, better to simmer down here before I break the acrylic because acrylic's not super strong, but that's not leaking. Okay, let's, let's be honest. That's, I don't care what your name is. Push on the side of that block's not gonna make a leak. That one, just a little bit of pressure from my little baby thumbs. And we have a geyser on our hands. So what did, what did we learn? We learned that, oh, my face looked really fat without a mustache or a beard. But we also learned that this is not a fixed block. This is just a replacement. This is literally the same thing I bought at Micro Center way back when, found out it leaked, Thanks to you guys, reached out to Corsair because I had no idea that there was a RMA process in place for this, so I reached out, um, sent my old block out to be repaired, and well, I was just given a new one from the uh, Netherlands. So that's a bummer. Knowing that, I'm still gonna say, if you're going to buy a GPU water block, now, I, like I said, I, had their, I have their CPU water block, I have their radiator, it's on that thing that we were just using, that pump combo that I lost. I mean, I have, even these are their fittings. Everything they got is good, in my opinion, except for this, the XG7 water block. It's a uh, doo-doo. So I would not buy this if you have this. I guess we also learned that now we have a sample size of two. I have bought, an, well, I've, I bought one brand new block. It leaked. I received another brand new block. It leaked in the same exact way. So if you have this block, um, it leaks. So it might not be leaking now, best thing is dude, do, don't touch it. But I mean, honestly, in my opinion, would I leave this in my machine knowing that uh, it has the potential to leak and will if it's any, any bit of strains placed on your tubing? Absolutely not. Would I buy this if I was looking for a GP water block? Unfortunately, no. Um, you're better off going with EK or another brand that has three mounting bolts like we discussed in the previous video. If you haven't seen it, go check that out. But that's a bummer. I thought we were on to something awesome today and now, well, we were disappointed, but you guys should know. So when you go out and buy your next GP water block, you don't run into the problem where it just ruins the rest of your system. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I guess, I don't even know what, what do we do now? Do we put in another RMA and get another block or we just say rip my $150 that I think I paid for that or whatever it was, I can't remember, that 150, 160 or something. But do you just say ripperoni and eat that, uh, or do you? What do you do? Let me let me know in the comments down below. Would you buy this block? Uh, what would you do? Now that say you're me, you had one that leaked. You sent it out to get it repaired. You got a new one. It leaks. What do you do now? Till next time.